Hi, today we're going to make a cordial creature. It's something you make to welcome people and then you hang it and you enjoy it. Join us. It'll be fun. Hi, this is Tweek. Today we're going to make a cordial creature. Somebody I know is moving into a new house and I wanted to make her something as a housewarming gift. I wanted to make a creature that was friendly, like a welcome sign that she could hang maybe in her patio or deck area or maybe on her porch or she could even hang it in the house. But I'm going to use an MDF wood that is medium density fiber wood. It's good for inside. It's okay for outside if you really protect it because and when it gets wet, that's not good. So we start out with some wood and I took a drawing that I'd made of a cow and transferred that onto the wood. So I had an idea of how big a circumference I wanted and then that was cut out of the wood and sanded. And I had to come up with the other components of the cow and it would be legs. So I'm taking other pieces of MDF and placing it on the circle of wood and just got an idea of where I wanted this to go. So I wanted, this is a 3D sculpture piece. So I've got the circular bottom and I've got three strips that on two of them I brought it out a little bit past the circumference to make feet. And this will all make more sense in a little bit. So here we go. I've got this far, then I took what I thought I wanted the head to be and I cut out the head and I cut out a nose and I cut out a couple of ears, cut it out of the MDF and then added a tuft on the cow's head and all these pieces will be painted and put back together and we'll start on the bottom. And now I need to dismantle this and work from the bottom up. And we're back here with his legs. I've got a right leg and a left leg. I came up to the top and just made it flush with the top of the circumference of the circle. And then I used a pencil to trace the legs out and to get an even width between them, I just used a pencil. So what I'm going to do now is, before I paint anything, I'm going to glue these three legs onto the board. So I'm going to take the glue, and very generously, where's my line, from this part of the leg up, I want enough glue to hold everything down. Oh, this glue is so, so strong. I don't want it to spit out too much along the edges, but we'll take care of that if it happens. And we're going to let this sit for a bit. And while that sits and sets up, we're gonna work on the areas that we can paint, and that would be on the face. What I wanna do now is paint the areas of the head while the base is drying that I can paint, because I want the wood to be wood on wood for glue, which means the tuft, that's gonna be wood on wood, so I don't wanna paint that part of the head. And the nose, the whole nose, I gotta not paint that part. I can paint this and I can paint that. And I can also paint the ears right here left. You see I have them all marked in case I get mixed up there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll paint the areas that I can paint. And that would be some white. And put him aside and let him dry as I work on another piece. Let's add some pink to that white and knock it back. It's kind of a pretty brilliant pink. I don't know of any cow that has a that knows that pink. So I'm gonna pull some of the white in. So 
so now I'm going to take what's left here and I've decided to make very light pink horns. So I'm really get away from the pink and get into the white. So I want a little bit of color there for the horns. Oh, that's not enough. Yeah, that's a little bit of color for the horns. Horns are done. And we'll let that set. Okay. Alright, I'm then we're ready to continue. I'm going to paint the ears. The ears are going to be black. And I was just thinking, there's a right ear and a left ear, and I need to keep clear who's what. So this is the right ear, so I'm going to put an R on the bottom. Left. So now I can paint them and not worry because we're not going to paint the bottom because that gets applied to the wood. So here we go. Black. Okay. Tuft is done. Ears are done. Nose is done. You know what? Since I've got black all over me and I've got some extra paint, I think I'm going to put a little black on his eye. And I'm going to take the head. I've got a little bit of extra black left over. This cow's gonna have, make sure this is dry, he's gonna have just like a black eye. Okay, next step. We're going to let these guys dry and we'll see how the base is doing. Good. I'll still be careful. And what I'm going to do is paint the areas that I can paint that won't be glued. So I'm going to paint this area, these areas between, and I'm going to leave out the head and the ear part. So everything else will get a coat of white. This whole head is going to be on there, so I'm going to go ahead and put glue all over the back. The glue is set. Now I want to have it set 24 hours before I'd even try to hang it anywhere. But right now, since it's set enough that I can do a few more finishing touches, we shall do them. I forgot here was the hooves. That's a very quick, quick, quick job. Black. And squeeze it right on there. Go with it. Isn't that cute? Really cute. Be brave. Make spots. I've got a varnish here. I'm going to put it generous amount in the bowl. This is a very 
satin finish varnish. It's really nice. And start where she's dry. That's going to give a light coating. Getting to the point now where we've got a few things left to do to our cow. One is to put on nostrils and eyeballs. I'm just going to use some Google Eyes to make the eyeballs. There's a little bit of a muss up right there. I'm going to take that as a sign that an eye should go right there. I think that looks good. Maybe another one right. We've got our holes drilled for hanging, but I want to put a couple of bees in there. And I believe I have to tap those in. Oh, pushes in, I'll give it another tap. And that will help when we go to hang them. It'll help protect the wood. I'm going to use some outdoor wire to hang them and try to keep them out of the elements because MDF wood does not like wet. So we'll tap those in. Okay, that's good. So I took some scrap wood out of the garage, had somebody cut it for me in the length I wanted it and the width. Then I wrote welcome on it drilled a couple holes. Now I want to place it here on the cow and I just have to decide where I think I'd like it up closer to her chin. So I'm just eyeballing it and I'm going to take a tool and make just make a little dent. I might want to tap this just a little bit just to make a little teeny hole. And then let's see. Okay, and then I have a place where I know that I can put a hook in. Now this is a regular hook that we just bent down a little bit so it will hold the sign. And we should be able to just twist that in. Good. Now the fun thing about these signs, let's see if that fits, is oh, cute. It's reversible because I wrote two messages on the signs. I put howdy on one side, welcome on the other, but this sign, actually the cow gets his own special welcome and I like I wrote. <laughs> oh, Ultra, I'm really glad you're here because this is heavy. Can you help me hold it? <laughs> no? Okay, well, we made three of them. We made a lamb, we made a cat, and we made this cow. And isn't that cute? It's for welcoming people or for just saying moo. Yes, moo. So, if you like what you've seen here today, subscribe to our channel. Give us a like or leave a comment. I'd love to know. Did you make one? Did it work for you? What did we say? See you next time.